transsexual, transgender, day of visibility is everywhere. It's even in Kosovo. It's even in Africa. It's even in places I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> um, <laughs> My past was not an easy one. I tried to come out to my mom and dad when I was eight. And they told me that that was the worst thing I could possibly say. They told me that I was the dirtiest thing in the world. Well, unfortunately, I generalized that. I internalized it. And I went back in the closet for 25 years. When I came out, I came out strong. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost almost everything. I lost my house, I lost my money, I lost my job, I lost my wife. Um, however, was that going to stop me? Yeah. No, it wasn't. I, right after I was fired, I thought, what can I do to make this so it won't ha have to happen to everyone? And I had an idea, and that was to create Transgender Michigan. Uh, if you aren't familiar with us, we have a wonderful website, we have a helpline, we have a speakers bureau, we have events, we have groups all over. We are Michigan! And in 2009, I had another sneaky idea. <laughs> I wanted a day that we could come together all over the world. I wanted a day that we could celebrate. I wanted a day that we could be proud. And I had called that day the International Transgender Day of Visibility. <laughs> Which, by the way, I am now calling it the Month of Visibility! <laughs> what do you think? I think we deserve a whole month? Yeah. Yes, we do! Um, I never imagined that I would have created an international movement. However, that's exactly what I did. We are everywhere around the world. Everywhere. Um, I want you to all know, you do not need to be perfect 
to change the world. I have Tourette syndrome. I am not fluent. However, I created an international movement. And if I could change the world, you could change the world. So everyone, come and change the world along with me.